So you've decided to take the plunge, you're going to do YouTube. Well, in this video, we're gonna spend some time going over six tips that are gonna instantly make your videos better, coming up next. So for tip number one in regards to making your videos better, it's gonna be audio. Now I know that kind of seems a little weird for most people when it comes to video. You might think visuals are gonna be the most important, but to be honest with you, audio is going to be 100% the most valuable thing you're gonna to need to bring to the table, whether it be your iPhone, whether it be the headphones that you have with your smartphone, or maybe you have a mic, maybe you have some form of recording device. Make sure it is as close to you, your mouth, as possible. Now, in my particular space, you guys can see here, we're actually using this shotgun mic. Now, I know a lot of people are not going to have the option of that, but let's say that I had headphones or I had AirPods, you name it. Well, if I had AirPods, obviously they'd be in. And if I even had headphones, I might even actually just figure out a way to maybe have it hidden here on the laptop, or maybe it's just out of frame. I mean, honestly, you could even hang it from the ceiling and most people aren't even gonna see it. But the goal here is to get better audio. So tip number two, this is a simple one and really doesn't require any money. It's gonna be, taking notes. Now I have mentioned this in the past. I've started to implement this in a lot of videos in regards to my actual production process. I used to just like to wing it and look, it just needs to be something simple. I have, I literally have six notes here. Now those are my six tips, but at least it keeps me on track and also making sure that if I'm kind of scrambled or I'm not able to put everything together, I can just always look down at my notes and it kind of revamps the process and gets me back on track. So tip number three for making better videos, this one's gonna seem a little bit weird, but let's go ahead and talk about things we know or subjects that we're familiar with. So let's say you're interested in cameras. Well, then maybe it's a good idea that you talk about cameras. And if you've had experience with a particular camera, that to me is a little bit more of a reason why you might wanna lean into that. So if you had a ton of experience with GoPros, maybe that's something you need to talk about. Or let's say you're just a really good cook. Maybe there you have it. You have an advantage in regards to you are better at something than most people. So when it comes to making better videos, pick a subject that you're more familiar with. So for tip number four, and this one can be tough, especially in the beginning, it's gonna be talking directly to your audience. Now, most people consume videos these days on their phones or on their computers, and they're normally doing it by themselves. So what does that really mean? That means you need to talk directly to that person or your audience. So you need to look directly into that camera lens, I mean straight down the barrel, or your smartphone looking directly at that little camera that's on the side of it. Now, a lot of people find themselves wandering off and they're looking up, like for instance here, if I were looking up at myself in that monitor, it's really gonna be distracting to you guys in the audience. But then if I bring my eyes down and I'm looking at you, it's more like you and I are having a direct conversation, just eyes to eyes, directly to camera. It's gonna really improve your videos. So tip number five, and this one is going to be tough in the beginning, but I promise you it will make your videos better. And that's gonna be trimming the excess fat. So if you're wondering what I'm trying to get at here, I'm really just saying when you're in the editing process, you need to think about this in regards to you as an individual, myself, whoever is actually filming the video and then editing it, they're gonna be a little bit biased. It's probably gonna seem a little bit more interesting to themselves, especially since it's their own video and product. So you need to take in consideration what is your audience gonna be interested in? What is gonna keep them around the longest? Now, this is the tough part. You're going to have to jump into that edit process and eliminate the ums, the ahs, the stumbles, the repetitiveness. You're really going to wanna to take, like let's say this particular video might take 15 minutes to record. I might even cut it down to roughly five to seven, maybe eight minutes. And really that's because I'm trying to keep you guys engaged and wanting to stay on the video. If anything, you wanna leave your audience wanting more rather than being bored. So tip number six, and I know this one's gonna get difficult. Some of you are gonna say, oh, Trey, I don't have different spaces or different backgrounds. Well, here's my suggestion. 
switch up your shots, switch up your environment. My kind of goal here is I have multiple different like walls and setups. I can film this way. I can turn this camera around and film the opposite way. And I know a lot of people are filming, like let's say in their kitchen or they're filming in their bedroom or they're filming in their basement. But what I'm here to say is I find it very interesting when people are switching up their spaces and it kind of, for me as a viewer, it just gives me something new and interesting to kind of go along with not only the tutorial or whatever clicked on to learn about or watch, but it also just gives me a different viewer experience. So another plus to being able to switch up your background, it's gonna give you more practice at getting better at lighting or pulling focus with your camera or your audio situation, whatever it may be, every time you're changing your environment, you're actually having to change your particular setup with your camera because every in situation or environment is going to be just a little bit different. Particularly like this one, we've got this big uh, moving blanket ha hanging down here and that's to combat this entire space right here because if I'm just talking right out into there, it's just complete open space. And this blanket is gonna give me a huge advantage in regards to audio. Now, if I were actually filming back there, I might take that blanket and hang it in a completely different space or spot. So switching up the space, switching up your place, it doesn't matter, but it's all gonna be a win-win in regards to learning more, getting better, and making your videos ultimately better as a whole. So those are six quick tips in regards to making your videos better instantly. Now, some of those are gonna cost money. Some of those are gonna just take a little bit of time, but it's gonna be up to you in regards to which ones you would like to implement. But I can promise you, if you just start very simply implementing these into your process, into your workflow, your videos will definitely start to get better. So hey guys, it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content I keep creating on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Switch it up. Don't be afraid to try new things. I promise you. One thing I've learned after roughly four years of YouTube and finding a little 3000. That's all I got. It's going to take a while, guys. It is going to take a while. But the more you can switch it up, the more you can have some fun, your audience is really going to like it and start to enjoy it. Sometimes I found that in the beginning when I was kind of really uptight, in your face, trying to not be myself per se. I know it's tough, but the more and more you get in front of that camera, the more practice. Videos just start to get easier and they start to get better. And you start to find ways to make these damn videos faster. I'm out. How long is that? 13 minutes? I don't even think it'll be 13. All right. Oh, man. You're done.